Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes one and two of Saki the Nationals. So let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Well, come on. Yeah, but they wanted to. This wasn't what I was expecting for part three. I mean, you know, for me, thinking of it, Nationals focusing on Saki, but no, okay. That's that girl again, ain't it? Yeah. Got your ass beat. Oh, and there is her sister. Sucks. Hello, cutie. Aww. 
He has no comment right now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and, and this is one of the reasons why you can't pair a young and an oldie together. Girl, what the fuck? Oh, Saki. <laughs> yep, gotta have the girlfriend. <laughs> I'm gonna hug, high five, kiss something. Her baby. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, my God. I mean, but still.
I mean, we all knew that because he could not stay in a room with all y'all girls. Especially with tacos, because tacos <laughs> would fucking torture the shit out of him. Tacos. <laughs> I don't know if she wanted a bath. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, when we mean everyone is here, everyone is here. <laughs> oh, don't be so mean. Yeah, it does, but I mean, we all kind of knew it was going to happen, you know. Well, yeah, and you're the last one to wake up. <laughs> Poor Yuki, she's so sure that she can't grab it, though.
Well, yeah, we in the real big leagues now. But did she get lost? On the first episode, too. Wait, she's gonna run into, um, Nadoka's friends, right? Yes! Oh! We saw in part two. Oh, and see in part two it was the other way around. The girl with the damn big ass mask. Oh my god, I can't. Of course. So it makes you wonder, who all is going to win this? Because it can be anybody's game now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, I'm playing. <laughs> What's up, Saki? <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Honestly, for this first episode, it was not that bad. It was, like, the calm before the storm. You're still seeing, like, a different POV of what we saw in part two, especially when it, you know, when the girls first saw Saki and felt Saki walking past them. So I love that we got to see the POV of Saki, and instead of Saki being the one with the red eye, it was what's-her-face. So, yeah, but I wonder how this is truly going to go. I mean, you know, with the 15 or 16 episodes that I have left with this, once again, <laughs> I'm sleepy. It, once again, it, it could literally be anyone's game. Anyone could fucking win nationals and win the title and such. But she, in my opinion, I wanted to be Saki because it's her show. She's the main character. Even though we've gone into different POVs of other characters, she's the main one. She's the one who we've automatically gone back to. But it's really nice to see all these characters from both part one and part two because I was like thinking, I think the way I was thinking that we were not going to see some of these characters for a hot minute, but yeah, I'm happy and I'm glad like her sister is here, but I'm still secretly hoping we, we get that match. I need that match. Like, ASAP. No. Thank you. Now, I wasn't expecting girls outside of like um like almost foreign exchange students who are also into the game of Mahjong to also be in this. Like, I was expecting just, you know, regular Japanese high school girls. So it is a little interesting that we're seeing someone from the United States, Hong Kong, and France all on this, you know, in this series for this. And it does make you wonder if how good they are and if we're possibly going to see them play. And it also makes me hopeful for, you know, the other Mahjong show that I'm really excited to see when that airs next year. If we're going to get something similar like that, where you have girls from either um, the UK, America, let's say um, Australia, um, Africa, Egypt. Well, no, e Egypt is in Africa, I believe. Um, my geology is like, because I'm tired right now. <laughs> um... Mexico, like anywhere, like make this international, bitch. Like, cause we we're with this show, we're making it international. So I would love to see the other series also make it international as well. But who really knows? We won't know until we get there. But yeah, sizing up the competition, it once again, it really is anybody's game going forth. This and so whoever wins wins regardless. I will be happy. I do have my fla my faves clearly, but whoever wins. I'll be happy regardless, but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, 
shut up. Oh, she's in this too? Oh. It's had to be like one of her early roles that she must have got. Again, anybody's game. <laughs> Any? I thought she said they could sleep in. I think she is, but don't worry. She'll see her. Oh, the chills. Freaking girlfriends once again. <laughs>
Literally everyone is here. Feels like it could fit a whole freaking apartment in there. <laughs> Feel that good. Has to be a good luck video. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mhm. Mm Oh, I didn't think we would have get to see this, but okay.
Now. Perfect. What well, damn. <laughs> Oh. Well, yeah, she is, but I feel like what she just did a couple of minutes ago is, you know, beyond of her weirdness, but whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Such a mom. <laughs> oh. 
Right. I mean, who who want to go over there? Mm -mm. Polka, of course. Yeah, because that's a cold one right there. Yeah, I think she must really like them. Oh. Yeah, oh, turn mildly cold. happen you just don't remember anything so that means only cold toka can come out for a limited time which it seems like with all these girls abilities they can only use them for a limited time up until um you know something happens to them where they're knocked out and they can't remember almost like anything like it, it's very similar to the girl in the previous season using her abilities. Good. <laughs> that aura, though?
But see, here's my thing. She she can't join because she's not a part of the of the high school team. She's still in like what middle school? Well, no, she's in high school, but she's not at the same school as them. So obviously, duh, it's just still practice. But I think Saki, Nadoka, Yuki, and everyone else is going to see how deadly because that is a word. Um, she is. I mean, every episode, especially when you're introduced to new characters, we're seeing how they play, how they're, how far they're willing to go and such with this. But I do like the fact that we are seeing this. I really wanted to know, like, all what went down during this training camp episodes that we didn't really get to see in the original part one. So I love the fact that we're getting ready to see this now. It does make me wonder how long it is going to go and if, we're, if every episode... Oh my bad. Um, is personally gonna flash back between nationals and you know training montage, hanging out, whatever. Which I'm not mad at. I do love the fact when shows do that and such, and I get the reason on why they want to do this to make the wins and everything more like enjoyable and such. And I get that. Like I'm cool with that. But yeah, very interesting episode. Definitely want to know what the heck is gonna happen in these next two episodes and such. <laughs> but once again, Hair is also hoping that even though Saki's sister is on a different day and a different side um, during the Nationals, that yes, she still gets a chance to see her sister, to have a moment with her sister. Because as she said, the only way that she can is to get to the finals of Nationals. So fingers crossed, everything really does work out for her and everyone else on this team because that's all you really pretty much want for everyone is for the best. Once again, like everybody who is in this, in Nationals, like they're all gunning for this. These are all like favorites, all teams that you really want to see win. But at the same time, we have to have some losers. And so this is when it's going to be really sad to watch these episodes because you're clearly cheering for everybody. But at the end of the day, only one can win. And this is going to be like heartbreaking every single week until we get to the final episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Saki the Nationals. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else. And next Saturday for Patreons for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.